Jumping Spider by David M. Schwartz. Photography by Dwight Kuhn. A small spider creeps slowly along a leaf. It is hunting for prey, but it does not use a web. It is a jumping spider. It stalks its prey like a cat. Suddenly, the spider leaps through the air and pounces on a fly. When a male jumping spider finds a female, he must be very careful. She may pounce on him and eat him. This dark-colored male does a little dance as he comes near the brown female. He waves his legs in the air or jumps up and down. The female understands that the male wants to mate, so she lets him come closer. After mating, the female spins a sack of silk on a leaf. She lays her eggs in the sack. Then she spins more silk to sew the sack closed and stick it firmly to the leaf. The spider will stand over her sack to protect the eggs inside. Dozens of tiny spiderlings hatch in the sack. They begin hunting on their own right away. Spiderlings eat tiny flies and other insects. The spiderlings look like adult spiders with eight legs and two body parts. A spiderling grows until it's too big for its hard skin. Then it must molt or shed its skin. It walks away in a new bigger skin and leaves the old skin behind. The old skin is just an empty shell, but you can tell a spider was once inside. The spiderling will molt at least four times before it's full grown. The young spider is nearly full grown and is a skilled hunter. It spots prey from far away. It has four eyes on top of its head and four more on the front. A jumping spider is only half an inch long, but it can leap 20 inches. It jumps 40 times its own length. If you jumped that, well, you'd go halfway down a soccer field in one leap. The spider may miss its target, but it spins a safety line of silk so it will not fall to the ground. Spiders cannot chew, so they turn their prey into soup. A jumping spider sinks its fangs into a fly and injects a poison that kills the fly. Then it pumps its special juices that turn the fly's insides into liquid. The spider sucks up the liquid with its mouth. When it's one year old, the jumping spider will find a mate. Then a new generation of jumping spiders will be born. The End